Good day guys, I just wanted to show you the crack in this axe. Uh, one of my subscribers sent me his axe to get it repaired. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gouge out that crack and I'm gonna, uh, then I'm going to weld it and then I'm going to uh, polish uh, the axe after that. As you can see from this shot here, the, the crack goes goes in the axe pretty deep. But that's okay, we'll, we're going to grind that out and weld it. As you can see the crack goes almost all the way across the axe. guys there you go the um, the crack is all grounded out so all I have to do now is uh, weld it up Okay guys, I'm all done uh, welding it. It was a very easy fix. Uh, right here, I uh, I didn't show that on video, but I ground I ground uh, from the top of the axe uh, just to make sure I get rid of the crack because I know it was cracked real deep. And uh, yeah, there's a little bit of blob here. It's just because just I had to go over it because my uh, breaker kicked off. I decided to weld to use a 110 so I wouldn't have to get the the cable to weld it on 220 and uh, the breaker kicked off halfway but uh, uh, no big deal I, I just uh, started over again there was a little hole there so I just went over it but um, there was good penetration so this axe is going to be just as good as new and this is not going to weaken the axe uh, let's say the axe would have been cracked over here well this part of the axe is tempered and I could have uh, you know got rid of the temper uh, but it's not tempered over here so that that's no, no problem at all i'm confident that this axe will be just as strong as new There you go guys, the crack is all gone. So this is just a rough grinding, but I, I'm gonna keep grinding and uh, and get into finer and finer grits and when it's all done, I'm gonna show you the end result. Okay guys, uh, I was not going to uh, make a polishing video today. Uh, this video was about fixing the crack in this axe, uh, which I already fixed. But you know what, I will make a polishing video because I'm doing differently this time. I used this, uh, I started off with this disc here, the 50 grit, and then I went to the uh, rotary sander and using the 80 grit sandpaper. And you know what, I love it. So uh, now that I'm done with the 50 grit, uh, like I said in previous video, double your grit. So then I'm going to go to 100 grit, then 200, 400, 800, and then finally 1500, and then I will pol then it will be ready for polishing. So uh, I'm impressed. Uh, I think this might be my favorite uh, way of polishing axe from now on. But having said that, I will not polish axe anymore because every time I do one, it's like eight hours of work. Oh, another thing I'd like to mention. Do you see like there's a line here? It looks more polished over here than over here. Maybe you can't see it on camera. I hope you can see it. There, I think you can see now. There's a line right here. That, that's because this part here has been tempered, so the steel is much harder. Okay guys, so so far I've done the 50 grit, I've done the uh, 80 grit, and then uh, 150, 
220 and now I'm going on 400 grit and <clears throat> when you get to the 400 grit sandpaper it has tendency to clog up so I'm gonna spray some WD-40 and that's gonna flush out the particles, the steel particles. I'm all done sanding with the 1600 grit with the rotary sander that does an impressive job I think to polish an axe the rotary sander is uh, definitely the way to go it's my favorite method so far and uh, I'm already seeing my reflection in the axe now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass a rotary sander again with the same 1500 grit uh, sandpaper and now it's worn out, so it's it's gonna act more like uh, maybe 2,000 grit. So after that, I'm gonna do the polishing. Okay, guys. So now that it's all uh, sanded down to 1,500 grit, I'm gonna polish it up with the uh, the coarse Cecil wheel, and I'm using the uh, white compound. And then I'm gonna finish it off with the softer wheel, with also with the white compound. Okay guys, I polished many axes before and there are many ways to polish an axe. Today I did use a different method. I mostly use my rotary sander. However, I did start with my grinder here with the 24 grit just because the axe was in such bad shape. It was, uh, the, it was pitted really deep. So I had to remove a lot of material fast. So I used this uh, grinder here with the 24 grit. Then I jump to the 50 grit, and then I use my rotary sander and started with the um, 80 grit. Then I went to 150 grit. Then I went to 220 grit, 400 grit, 800 grit, and finally 1600 grit. And then I used the white compound with the coarse buffing wheel and then finished it off with the fine buffing wheel. And if you're wondering if I'm going to polish more axes, sorry guys, that's it. Too much work. I, I'm looking at 8-10 hours of work just to do that axe, so it's just way too much work. I might polish other stuff in the future, but uh, I'm done with axes. Thanks for watching.